her face oh right now. God. You can see the look on her face. The look of shock. So guess where he took his new fiance out on their first date? Guess where they went? McDonald's. Bingo. They went to no McDonald's. No way. Oh, I just serious. guessed. I don't even know the story or she nothing. She was in Maxim. She said, we went to McDonald's. I was starving and about to flip into biatch mode. So we stopped it there. It wow. was a match made in Happy Meal Heaven. Happy Meal. This was before she was pregnant? Before? No, no. This was the girl he left the pregnant wife for. He took her to McDonald's on their first date. The intern. Okay, okay. so he... So have he, you... Are he we, was married to a He was married? He was, yeah, he, he was married... Left left her for the intern. And when he was married, he she was pregnant with his kids. Yes. Huh? It was in a, it was in a pre, uh, I guess you could say preformed child. So it was his aside child. Aside from all so, that, yeah. Hersony, have you ever been taken out to McDonald's on a first date? On a first date? Yeah, or on a date in general. And if so, are you okay with that? And do you have a problem with Oreo McFlurries? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. But I mean, what do you consider a date? Oreo McFlurry. I, <laughs> you no, and I Oreo going to get Oreo, Oreo McFlurry? No. <laughs> I mean, there's some times you can where use two if, a guy, if a guy formally asks you out to go hang out with just you and him, and there's food or a beverage involved, it's a date, right? And he spends money, this and he not opens doors. Your boyfriend yet? No, no, you're just no, dating. No, no, no. You're just hanging out with each other. But it's a date. And but you went to McDonald's. Would you be okay with McDonald's on a date? No, I will not be okay with McDonald's on a date. Really? So you're saying you have a problem with Oreo McFlurries? It just sounds like he didn't put any effort into it. Even though I love Oreo McFlurry. Okay, see, that's what I'm but, trying to say. Actually, I like well, Reese's. But she said Fine. she was hungry and she was just cool with going to McDonald's. Oh, if she was cool with it, then yeah. even better, man. More power to... Sucks I to mean, be you, Tiki really Barber. I don't think she has a say-so. She... He just left her for... I mean, he just left his wife for her. Like, she really has nothing to say. That's true. That's good input from a female's point right okay. there. That she has no entitlement because he is the one they can take in all the sacrifices. She's the other girl. She gets Way to all go. The sloppy seconds. So she was just happy to be there. She's just happy to get a McFlurry. So, Aris, have you ever taken a young lady to McDonald's on a date? No, you man. Counted as a date? Personally, dog, I'm more of a... Burger King kind of guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, I don't... You can take me to El Pollo Loco. I see. The dirty oh, bird. We got hookups. You got to be careful. Ryan has problems with that. Bring up El Pollo Loco. <laughs> let's, let's save the burrito. Let's save... Hersey, just go look at his Twitter and you'll see... Yeah, go look at my timeline. <laughs> but no, I'm more of a Burger King guy. As long as ladies out there, as long as you can handle a BK double... <laughs> or uh, Whopper off the broiler. <laughs> off the broiler, though. People don't know about the OB style Whoppers, man. When you go to Burger King, anything you order, get it off the broiler, okay? That's a true date right there. Baby, I got you a Whopper off the broiler with cheese and a BK double. Mwah. You know, I watched a Millionaire Matchmaker. I don't know if anybody else watches this. I've seen the show a couple times. But I never, I never miss an episode. She until. always <laughs> says like the first date is what the rest of your relationship will look like. Cheap. McDonald's, Burger King, bring it. I can yeah, go out basically and Basically, she's going to get told what to do. She's not going to have any say so in anything. Fast food. I like that idea. <laughs> hey, babe, can I get a... Uh, I don't know, what would I request? Can I get a uh, DVD, dinner, and leave me alone when I come home when I play Madden? Thanks, yeah, fast food, that's you know? Exactly, that's that's he was, like for a he was setting that nah, tone would, for her. He was setting that tone, like... I'd be playing Madden with her, get. It's all about me. <laughs> so, so, okay, what is the ideal first date for her, Cindy, then? My ideal what do you like date. on a first date? Soccer. If, if a guy came and took you to an MLS game, you'd win, he'd win you if over. If someone would take me to me dinner before, and then a U.S. game. Oh, That's not even the MLS no game. With <laughs> What's with all these girls thinking they can just go to a game on a first date? You got to work your way up to that. You can't I, just... I, I'm with Ryan. Tickets are like 40, 50 exactly. bucks a pop. Exactly. I got to pay for parking. You got to earn Wait, that. I got to buy you about popcorn. A yeah, you got to earn a date. Yeah, what if they say, like, exactly. Dinner you too? And you want to go to a game? You can go to 70radio.com and try to win some tickets. No, not really, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and keep those tickets. I guess we'll be waiting here a while. Yeah, there's tickets here? Why didn't well, anyone tell know. me about this? That, that's the thing, like, that would be me setting the tone, like, you're going to take care of me, I'm going to tell you what I want, and you're going to please me. Okay, well, I could do that, I well, guess. Hey, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I just uh, start with that? No, you know what? Again, Burger King, bring it over. The only thing I'll go get from McDonald's is a McFlurry, so... Girls, you want to go That's get a big flurry with me? I got love for you the big bag. No, man, because I'm all about the Burger That's King like crowds. It'll be cute if you would like right? a date Come plan on. at the park. I know what I'm saying. At the park, if you 
go by the McFlurries and then take her to the park. I got a better one. Oh no. You pick her up, you blindfold her, you take her into the playpen, you give her two McFlurries. <laughs> oh, and you, oh, oh, that playpen. Yeah, okay, at McDonald's. Okay, you take her to the playpen at McDonald's and you get two Mc, you get one McFlurry with two spoons slash straws and then you throw plastic balls at her face. <gasps> See, now if I'm going to go to that a playpen though, no, that's a little violent, but if I'm going to go to a playpen, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Better oh, play okay. but I see, got more room to work with. You know what? You fouled up though, because there is no McFlurries. That's the winner. But here. I got pizza and a yeah, six foot rack. Yeah. Tim Cates from Twenty Four Show told me, man, pizza's all right. <laughs> hey, that's pizza's good pizza, right. man. I'm all about the pizza I'm all about the McFlurry and a salad bar. And McFlurry. I got speedball, Aris. What? Oh, you win. Yes. Well, hey, you get those free quarter pictures or something. Man. You still do those? <laughs> okay, fine. You guys are right. So first date. Okay, let's re let's change it up. First date. First date. Chuck E. Cheese. How about that? Oh no! You got kids running around. You got pizzas. You got a giant mouse that walking around, childish. shaking your hand, and plastic balls, Sorry, and guys. arcade games. How is that childish? Oh, it's, childish. yeah, because there's, yeah, there's kids running around. Or is that like Dave and Busters? All right, okay. fine. We can we yeah. do that? There's still ski ball See, there. I couldn't do a first date at a place like that <laughs> personally. Like I got, we gotta go sit somewhere and be able to like talk to each other and make sure I can talk to you for the rest of my life. Yeah. That's Definitely don't take a girl to the movies. No, that's the best. No talking. Exactly. Yeah. I, that's why I, I don't do movies. Unless your no, goal it's... is just to get her in your room. Yeah. Take her to the All you got is what's up, baby? What movie you wanna watch? All right, two tickets. You want popcorn? Yeah. All right. Or take her to McDonald's. Three hours of silence. All it is is just. <laughs> Hand actions like what's up? Slide the arm around. What's up? Move the arm around. Take girls to scary movies on dates. I love scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? That's the best part. You're like, oh, I didn't know it was a scary movie. It says horror, House of a Thousand Corpse. Oh, I just thought it was talking about. Yeah, I thought it was chick flick. It's like corpse for like mannequins for dresses and stuff. Even though there's like a guy with a bloody face on the front, I just thought it was like paint. Okay, so what? I have a question for you guys. Oh, Horror movies. Oh, no. that, that that's a pretty pretty good first date. I like that. Yeah. What do you guys expect a girl to wear on a first date? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that too much to ask? Okay, fine. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. 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 let's get that straight. Aris does not speak for me. That was him. Okay. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that's the great <laughs> Aris. Oh no, okay, okay. Wow. Fredericks of Hollywood has a great oh, lineup of clothing. <laughs> I don't mind if a girl wants to pick herself pick herself out of the outfit. So not nothing. I'll go ahead. You really want to date a girl that would show up like that on your first date? Sure, why not? Makes the job easier for me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're like, oh, dang! Right to the point. Let's go get that McFlurry. I don't know if we're gonna be eating it. This is unbelievable. It's gonna melt really like, quick. Throw some huh? balls at your face. Yeah, I can. I throw plastic balls at your face. <laughs> That's too. a terrible. But, <laughs> He's going, oh. 